We present Diffusion Avatars, a system for creating high-fidelity 3D head avatars of real people. Diffusion Avatars provide fine-grained control over pose, expression, and viewpoint by using an underlying morphable head model. A Diffusion Avatar can be controlled by transferring movements and expressions from another person. Their face performance is reenacted realistically. It is also possible to animate the Diffusion Avatar directly via the underlying morphable head model. We base our method on the neural parametric head model, called MPHM, which provides a detailed geometry and expression space of human heads. With diffusion avatars, we can create and animate avatars of various ages, appearances, and genders. Let's see how our method achieves this. Our goal is to build a diffusion-based neural renderer that can generate high-quality images of human heads. To enable control over expression and viewpoint, we condition the diffusion model on rasterized MPHM meshes. We provide the coordinates in MPHM's canonical space, render depth, and normals as input. Inspired by deferred neural rendering, we rig learnable spatial features to the mesh surface. Note that MPHM models geometry as a sign distance field and hence does not provide a consistent UV mapping. Instead, we perform triplane lookup with MPHM's canonical coordinates. We call this deferred diffusion. Certain detailed expressions are difficult to synthesize from rasterized meshes alone. Thus, we introduce a second path through which the provided expression code can control the output. We decode a set of expression tokens that are fed into newly added cross-attention layers inside the diffusion model. Intuitively, this direct expression conditioning is responsible for fine details, while the rasterized images guide viewpoint, pose, and coarse expressions. Finally, we adopt the control net paradigm to leverage a pre-trained latent diffusion model for improved image synthesis. We compare diffusion avatars with other methods on the task of avatar animation via expression transfer. Compared to baselines, our method consistently generates more appealing images and realistic animations. Note how diffusion avatars performs well even in challenging areas of the head that are not well modeled by MPHM's geometry, such as the mouth interior or the hair bun. We also ablate several parts of our pipeline to understand their contribution to diffusion avatars. First, we consider using a simpler morphable head model, such as Flame. Due to Flame's limited geometry and expression space, the avatar animations lack expressiveness. Second, direct expression conditioning helps diffusion avatars to synthesize details not directly modeled by MPHM's geometry, such as eye movement. Finally, using a pre-trained stable diffusion model steers diffusion avatars towards generating more realistic faces. Thank you for your attention.